Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 4, The Lost and Damned DLC Part 3. Today we're going to be embracing our Johnny role. I've gone ahead and shaved my head again. Although I only said I was going to do it once and I've already done it like four times because it feels really good. But uh, yeah, it's been a while. Ghost of Tsushima kind of had us a little busy for a couple of days. But we're back and uh, I'm going to tackle this DLC as fast as I possibly can now. And we're getting a call from Ashley, which is our beloved girlfriend, I think. Ash? Johnny boy. John, I need some help. I ain't got a handout for you. Sorry. A handout ain't gonna fix it, Johnny boy. I'm into something bad. I need a knight in shining armor to take me away from this mess. They're gonna <laughs> kill me. Or worse. Jesus, Ash. Where are you? Some project on Wardite. Come quick, baby. I'll try. All right, so wasn't Ashley the same girl that that Trevor was uh, 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 in GTA 5? He was smashing her in the counter. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was her. And I want to say, I'm just going to, let me lower this volume. It's a little crazy. I'm just going to throw this out there. I want to say that she's the one, she's probably the reason why he turned into like a drug addict, maybe. Because again, we pretty much talked about this. Johnny in GTA 5 is not the same Johnny in GTA 4. Slow down. Absolutely not the same person. Sure. Also, I want to acknowledge the fact that I've already seen the comments about you people telling me to lower the frames in the game if I want the, the, the bikes to kind of drive better. So for those of you that don't know, the motorcycles in this game on PC are extremely difficult to drive. Like they, they just, I don't know, they just slide everywhere like this, like for no reason. And the reason behind that, according to a lot of you, is because of the frames. If you put the frames higher than 60 frames, it becomes a nightmare to drive these motorcycles. But I'm going to be honest. I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice the motorcycle driving to have a more smooth finish of a gaming experience, if that makes any sense. But yeah, enough about technical stuff. Let's just get on with it. Yeah, it's just really terrible driving like this, but you know what? Whatever. I think we're almost done with the DLC, by the way. I think it's like four hours and change. Maybe a little bit under five hours. We're about to be about three hours in. So I would say maybe about one or two more episodes and we should be should be done with this. And I know a lot of you want me to play, you know, the Battle of Gay Tony. A lot of people say it's the best one, but I also heard that I should play this one first. So I'm gonna get there. Don't you guys worry. What the fuck? <laughs> <are you doing? laughs> guys, I think we're here. <laughs> here we go. I think we've also been here in this uh, apartment complex back in GTA 4. It's quite interesting. Go upstairs and find Ashley. Okay, upstairs meaning right here? Nope. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Well, that's not Ashley. Why is there Get blood? The fuck out of here, oh, guy. Guy. oh, what the freaking hell? You want some too? Yo, what is happening here? Ashley? Yeah, she's definitely going to be the problem in his life. What the freaking crap? <laughs> Yo, what is up with these people? Okay. All right. Well, this is unexpected. I mean, kind of expected, but. Yeah, this is definitely. This is going to be uh, Johnny's downfall. For sure. I already don't even like her. I haven't, I haven't even seen her in this game yet. And I already dislike her. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You sure know how to get yourself into trouble, don't you, baby? You oh. sure know how to get me out, Johnny. Come here. <sighs> She looks totally different, What's too. What's wrong? 
I don't want to hang out here. Can we go? I don't want to hang here neither. Then again, I'm not the one messing up my head on a week-long ice binge. I remember when you used to mess around at my place. That don't happen anymore either. Take me home, man. I'm crashing hard. Oh, dude. Fucking bad on drugs. God damn. You all right? I'm with you now, Johnny boy. How could I not be? How long you been up? Two days? Three? Who's counting? It ain't good for you. You know that. Sure, sure. You expect me to stay clean when you're not there to look after me? Maybe if you answered your calls. Fuck. Whatever. Bro, okay, we're... I'm bad, bitch. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me or something. Teach me I'm wrong. Where's the fucking door? Teach me, baby. It's the only way I'll learn. Make me hurt. You're making yourself hurt already, you fucking idiot. Hit me. Give me a break, sweetheart. <laughs> I used to fucking love you. You're too sweet for words, Johnny boy. You think I'm sweet too? You ain't good for me, sugar. That's all I know. For real. Man, what a bad one, dude. So, it seems like they're kind of like in a split. Maybe they used to date. And uh, he, he, he's no longer with her due to the drugs and overall addiction. Which, totally cool. I dig it. But it seems like he probably fell back into that during the, the times of GTA 5. Again, again, I guess we'll find out as this story progresses. But I do think we're going the wrong way. I'm gonna have to go back around and push the U-turn right here. And it's gonna be across the bridge over there. I don't know, man. This game's got me really, really intrigued. I really want to know what happens to Johnny. And I kind of feel, I said this before, I feel like I should have played this before heading into GTA 5. It, it would have made a whole lot more sense Especially when I would have seen Johnny. I think it would have been like an oh shit moment, you know what I mean? But anyways. Here we go. I don't know if we're gonna be dropping her off at her house or at a fucking hospital. I don't know, man. This chick is weird. She's all sorts of weird. By the way, I know you probably are noticing I disabled the music. I did it on the first two episodes, and let me tell you, those two episodes were a nightmare to upload. Like, they just kept getting claimed. I lowered the music on the second part, and no matter what, they, it would still get claimed. I would put another music over that music to kind of trick the system. <laughs> but it didn't work, man. It just didn't work. Okay, I think we're going to take her... Where the hell? Right here. Is this where she lives? Really? Do I gotta take her literally right there? Okay. <coughs> hmm. Nice place you got here, sugar. Not now, honey. I ain't feeling so good. I thought you said you stopped smoking that stuff. I did, Johnny boy. I did. I promise. I never lied to you. Come on, baby. That's crap. <laughs> you know it. I never lied to you when I was sober. Well, my whole life's falling to shit, sweetheart. I guess it was dumb of me to think this would be any different. I'm sorry. I know I ain't much, but I'm all yours. You do know that, baby, don't you? If you say so. I love you, Johnny. Thanks for saving me again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? We're better than this. We can, we can live better than this. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Say the word, honey. Take that bike, we'll ride off into the sunset, you and me. You, <laughs> me, and that little habit of yours. You're my habit, Johnny. <coughs> and you're ridiculous. <coughs> Damn, dude, that's sad. Okay, so the auto slaves are contains... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's extremely sad. Very unfortunate. God damn it, Ashley. All right, so we're actually going to head. Let me take a look at the map. I say we head on to the next mission. Oh, we got a call from Jim. Johnny, it's Jim. 
You want to roll on some dead beats? What a fantastic idea, James. I'll see you at yours. Great, man. See you soon. All right, well, I'll catch you in a bit. So the icon represents the meeting point for a gang war. Go to that location and meet the other lost members in gang wars or the battle. So the gangs, there will be various gang wars around the city. Who? Ah, Mr. Stubbs is expecting you. <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yes, sir. Um, hello, sir. I'm fine. Good. Hey, let me ask you some. Do you really enjoy life? I don't really know what you mean, sir. I mean, just serving all these rich morons, you know, smell of money and all that stuff, you know. Does that make you happy? <laughs> yes, sir, something like that. And tell me, sir, are you happy? I mean, has giving the man the, uh, finger really satisfied some inner urge within you, sir? Well, I think what I've learned is that there's always a man, dude. He just wears a different uniform. Uh, as you say, sir. Uh, Mr. Stubbs is in the steam room uh, right this way. Oh, my God. Not to see this guy's freaking penis again. Clevitz! How you doing, sport? Hey. I'm fully clothed in a steam room with a murdering politician. <laughs> well, my whole life falls to shit all around me. But fuck it, I'm all right. Miss your uncle? Oh, I've doubled up on the therapy. Change your therapist. Oh, but I've been seeing Dr. White since I was seven. The man's a genius. Okay, what can I do for you, man? I'm not really dressed for this, and you said it was urgent. Yes, well, mm, there's been a, a clerical error down in the deepest recesses of the Civic Citadel. A group of outstanding civilians, voters, have mistakenly been taken into LCPD custody. Oh. Well, isn't there something you can do about that yourself, man? Pull some strings or something? No, I'm afraid not, Sport. Way too far down the line for that. Too much red tape. Yada, yada, yada. No, all you need to know is that uh, these gentlemen are in a prison transport bus, and you, my friend, need to liberate them. Sure, I got it. Are the buses at the Leftwood Police Station? Get them out of there, and we will make it worth your while. Okay. I got it. Don't sweat it, Clebitz. <laughs> Literally. Well, just glad this time around they put a towel on that man. It's embarrassing last time. Yo, was good, player hater? Go to the prison bus location. All right, look, we got a man here selling hot dogs. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, diggity dog. What up, player? Let me get a hot dog. Oh, you draw cartoons too? A fat ass hot dog, not even gonna lie. God damn it, Johnny. I didn't know you roll that way, bro. Just get it, guys, right? It's just, just a joke, man. All right, I'm assuming this is the car he gave me because we didn't even hotwire this thing. We literally just got in it and it was good to go. All right, we're here. Let's see what we got. What am I going to do with that brother of mine? I've got to say, this oh, guy does have some pretty cool you? missions. Well, you must be used to wearing Perseus suits and shit. Look, it was a victimless crime. My taxes pay your salary. <laughs> Long way from the exchange now, aren't you? You yuppie pricks. Still think you're better than guys like me, huh? You should be put down. I saw what you did to that orderly. Oh, man. Man's organs ain't meant to look like that. Come on. Yo, that guy looks like a psycho. Take down the prisoner transport bus. All right, let's go inside. Get in here, buddy. Holy smoke. Okay, perfect. Um. So let's go ahead. Oh my lord. You're dead. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, Johnny. Fucking psycho. Fire. 
What the hell? Yeah, Johnny's crazy. I'm still in fucking rolls. Yeah, hold on. We got three stars on our ass now. This is it. Oh my god. All right, break yourself. Come on. Did it work? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is? You're the best tasting thing I've had since I got locked up. That's intense. All right. Since we've all uh, eaten, we've got a new destination, people. We just hijacked this fucking bus. Yeah, this is not going to end well. How do you expect me to literally lose the cops with a prisoner's bus? This is going to be a literal fucking nightmare. Oh my. Oh my goodness. No way. Oh my god, we're at the corner. Yes. Right, now we just gotta do is just chill here. Just gotta chill here. <laughs> Look at the prisoners. Shut up, you <laughs> beast. I'm trying to think. Matthew <laughs> Industrial is where they're meant to meet us. By the Globe Oil Plant. Bro, look at this bus full of inmates. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Uh, so we we got out alive like I mean barely look at our health So um, what you folks in for for these fellas? It's white-collar shenanigans caught with their hand in the cookie jar My greed was of a uh, uh, more corporeal nature. I'm gonna take that as meaning you were into some sick shit Let's not discuss it as you wish dear boy. I'm guessing it wasn't you. I got paid to bail out anyway. I doubt those who remember me think it a great idea that I am about to be roaming free again. Okie dokie then. Alright, so this game's got like a little like a little bug where sometimes the frames just start to drop. I doubt it's the computer. I think it's the game. A lot of these older games are not like 100 percent optimized for computer. But then again, I am running it on, on my end at least. Ah. Yo, the last thing I need is for this bus to be flipped over. Anyways, yeah, I'm running at a pretty pretty high quality on my end, so that could also be a fact. I don't know. Anyways. Let's go ahead and deliver these damn prisoners. Oh, shit. Gotta be honest, I did... Restart that mission like a good seven times. I just kept dying over and over again. And it was kind of irritating. Just kind of embarrassed to admit it. Okay, back in through here. Look at me. Breaking out damn prisoners and all. God damn it, Johnny. You are a monster. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Shit. My fellow prisoners and I are most grateful. We've got a boat to catch. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Did they just throw the oh, bus I in the... Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to walk along the from 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 where the brass band plays fiddly bum 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 bum. Bon voyage. Goddamn weirdos. All right, well, that was fun. Is there an extra boat there for me? No, there is not. Oh, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. A little nervous, but we did it. Your boys. friends are out to see Mr. Stubbs. Good luck to them. I think they'll need it. Oh, don't you worry. Those boys don't need luck. You should have seen them in 73. Believe me, a short recession and a trip to Panama isn't going to finish those boys off. 
All traitors by blood. Great genes. I was thinking the problem might lie with one of the other passengers on their little cruise. Later on, Mr. Congressman. Yeah, you mean the carnivore? I mean, the, the guy that, that eats people? Yeah, I think that's he's probably going to be an issue, you know? Uh, I need to find myself another hot dog stand. I, I'm actually pretty low on health. And I, I don't feel comfortable. Now, I don't know if... The mission for Jimmy... Here we go. We got a... Okay, we got a text from Billy. We need your input in a discussion, John. Come to the house. I was just about to say that. I don't know what's going to be the next mission that I got to do. Because I don't see any letters on the map. Although, Jimmy did call us earlier. But it just seems like the gang wars are possibly some side mission or whatever. We just got a text message from Billy. So, that answers our call. I'm going to take the taxi. Yo, taxi! Taxi! Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. You think a guy like you should be pleased? Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now, I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him. Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. Wow, we actually came to an agreement. Go to the meet with Billy. We actually came to an agreement with Billy. Holy hell. Giving it up to the slopes, it don't feel right. Well, Billy says we're doing it, so get doing it. I'm not the one with an authority problem, Johnny. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna stick on the logo. If I'm you stay on the logo, you regenerate this. your health. So that's definitely gonna help. Made since getting out of rehab. Yeah, maybe he's starting to calm down. Maybe he stuck too much of that brown into his arm then. Yo, that shit really you helps. Holy Brian? hell. I gotta waste my time with that crap. I got the brothers. All the hole I need at the house, man. Yeah. Too right, man. Guy like you shouldn't waste his time with all that shit. What are you doing, Clemens? <laughs> Yeah, dude, look at my health you already. Out that H belonged to the Triads. They got word out all over town. Brought it into Liberty on a ship called the Platypus a few weeks back. Shit, Jim. You're just a font of information, aren't you? By the way, I do feel like this guy on the right, he's going to betray us. He's like up Billy's ass the entire time. You're not as big as those days when you hit the roids either, William. <laughs> my arms might not be. There's other parts that are a lot bigger now that I'm off the drugs. Just ask Ashley. Shit, Billy. You're the fucking man, huh? How about you beat us brothers in a race just to prove it? Wow. 
I did not know that. What a scumbag. Fucking Johnny's girl. God damn you. Billy, I will smoke your ass. Last time you won, but not today. And the game's a little jittery right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. It's just bothering me. That's why I'm kind of quiet during this ride. I'm kind of like taking a look at the frames and seeing what the heck is going on here. Gotta be honest, I think we won this one, guys. Well, Bill, I may have beat you, but you're still the fucking man in my book. Man, we gotta wait for <laughs> All right, Jim, Johnny, since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are gonna be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here gonna be doing? We are gonna watch your backs because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. I'm gonna say it right now, they're not gonna have our backs. Hey, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Watch. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit. Fuck you. Getting out ain't gonna be easy. Where's fucking Bill? What did I say? I freaking knew it, dude. This. I'm coming for you. Raiders, dude. I don't care if I die. Take these assholes out. They're gonna have to kill me. All right, let me swap weapons. I got this automatic Rafika handgun, whatever the heck this is. Eat shit, assholes! Come on, you weak fucks! Yeah, that's right, you weak fucks! Die! Die, you motherfucker! Die! Fucking die! <laughs> this gets crazy. <laughs> Ow, that one hurt. Holy hell! Damn, he hit me good. That dude messed me up. Fuck. Dude, where the hell's Billy, man? It's you for me! Brother! Bro, where are these assholes? Man, I freaking knew it, dude. Man, these Chinese are not fucking around. Come on. Show yourself. Where yep. are you? Oh, there's a med kit up there. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go up there. <laughs> Better believe it. Die, you fucks. Let's go, let's go. Die. Say hello to my little friend. No? Okay. Alright. I really feel like I'm Johnny right now with this bald ass head of mine. <laughs> Johnny, man, come here. Let's get this. Oh, this dude is Jackie Chan wannabe ass. This is not Rush Hour Part 4. Oh my god. This has been an interesting episode. We've, uh,. Had a gang war with the, with the Chinese, and uh, we've uh, broken out some prisoners. I mean, what? Wow, that, that's got to be the stupidest shit I've done. It is here. I promise you, I pressed triangle. I don't know why. There we go. Jeez, now. About damn time you made me look stupid enough.
Oh my god. You set me up, Johnny! You set me up! What? Put your hands in the air. Now! Fuck you, Johnny! You're dead! Shut your goddamn mouth! Shut You're your dead. mouth! You're dead! Shut up! What? This is some bad shit. Johnny Clemens. Brian, man. Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill, yeah, he's fucked out. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Let's get back to the bikes. What? What? Suspect William Gray arrested in Chinatown incident. What was all that about? I don't know, man. Billy sounded pissed. He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am oh. I gonna do? You're gonna stick by your brothers. We gotta pull together now. Cleavitz, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? Someone should light a fire under your ass, man. What the fuck's going on? Not my damn fault, what the hell? I want to know why Billy thinks it's our fault. We, 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 we literally got ambushed. Yo, I'm confused, bro. Why couldn't you say Billy? What do you mean? Johnny and I were getting jumped. Why weren't you helping Billy? I had to help myself, man. I mean, I, I can't be expected to the lost horse. Help us. Brian! Man, what the fuck were you and Billy doing while those triads jumped on me and Jim? Oh, yeah. Come on, brothers. This goddamn fucking slippery ass. Important question, Brian. What happened there? Billy said these triads were ready to deal. What if it was Brian that set it all up? Or maybe it was Billy and Brian and it backfired. Jesus, that was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, John. You're gimping a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian. Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Ah, fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you. And I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Oh, shoot. I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. Wow. I mean, we did get a phone call, but... It's not like we fucking said anything. We're now president of the Lost Motorcycle Club. Do me a favor and go fuck yourself. <laughs> God damn it. Well, it is what it is. You really suck. Stubbs. Clement? Clement, you there? I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clement. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. 
Oh, okay. so now we just get the option to give him a call if we ever need extra cash or whatever. Hello there, James. How you doing? Getting through it, brother. Just about. Listen, that guy we stole those Angels of Death bikes for, he's got a whole shopping list of bikes he wants. You interested in procuring them for him? As long as it ain't gonna get us in the shit with any more dirty cops. Them cops ain't around no more. Get Angus on the wire when you're ready to roll. He's got the details. So long, brother. All right, so let's head over there. Or let's head to Jimmy. I'm oh, gonna take the cab over there. Where to? Um, let's go to Jimmy, Jimmy, Jim. Take Jimbo. me to Frankfurt Avenue. All right then, let's do it. I'm just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature <laughs> shit. <laughs> I give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun. Johnny. Brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? <laughs> you sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Mark's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Me, son. Later, him out. Hey. Later. All right, cool. All right, so what the hell is this? Use the pipe bombs to blow up the Angel of Death vans. And these vans are where exactly? Oh, shit. All right, well, you know what? I'm not even gonna take a bike. I'm going to take me this sweet little car right here. Pop this window up. We're going to get this dirty shit done. So I'll be honest. I, I didn't think uh, Billy was going to land back in jail. I, 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 I thought there was going to be some sort of conflict with him and Johnny. And, you know, they're probably going to kill one another. Or Johnny kill him. or I don't know. But I was not expecting him to go back to jail or prison. He just literally got out at the beginning of the DLC. Man, I think the loser's trying to pull something. We're heading back. Let's get this moving, okay? Fuck the angels of death, man! <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. got him yo this mission is pretty challenging <laughs> not even gonna lie i've got to do it now because this is I, i've spent so much money on ammo that if i fail it now i'm done so we're gonna head to the next one which is over here it's on the fucking highway holy hell they don't have weapons so we're good pop the tires you ain't getting an open casket I cannot fail this mission. I will not fail this mission. Not any more than I already have. Come on, You're done, biatch. Take that. The <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, we're calling Jim. Here we go. Jonathan. Job done, my man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malk and Deshaun are good guys. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry a Claire call if you ever need some help on club business. 
Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. All right, you can call for help anytime from Terry or Clay. They will provide a backup for any of your jobs. Very nice. All right, so I think uh, I think we're good. I think we can save it here. And uh, don't mind my cab; it's full of blood and guts and everything nice. I bet even your parents hate you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. That last mission was a little bit irritating. I've got to be completely honest. And uh, we've got a message. Johnny, I spoke to your friend Jim, and he says you need work. He's sending a friend. It's called Malk as well. All right. Well, <sighs> this is fun. It really is. And I'm, I'm glad to be back on GTA 4. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully, I'll catch you guys on the next one.